Hi, I'm Janae Meadows at JanaeMeadows.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use all of the neat line segment tools in Illustrator. Okay, your line segment tools are over here right underneath the pen tool, and you see he's got a little black little triangle in the lower corner. That means you can pop him out, hold on, click and hold, and then just click that other little side off, the tear off, and he'll be on his own. And there you'll see all the cool line tools for you to use. You got your just basic old line segment tool, you got your arc tool, you got your spiral tool, you got your rectangular grid tool, and you got your polar grid tool. Let's just go over these for you. First things first, let's click the line segment tool. And you'll see, you click, you drag, and it makes a line just like it promised. You do something like this. Now with the arc tool, it's right next door, click on him, and he makes only curved lines for you. So he just makes arcs all day long. Keep on going along to the next one. You got your spiral tool. He's getting a little more crazy for you. And you just click and drag. And the more you drag, the bigger he gets. And you can turn him with your mouse hand and spiral him. And you got a perfect spiral. Next on is your rectangular grid tool. Click on him. Let's just get rid of this junk. I got too much on this page. Uh, click on him there, and just like he said, he's making a rectangular grid for you. Now, you can make him perfect by shift selecting, and it be like a perfect grid for you. So if you need a grid for some reason, you got it. If you double click on him, though, you'll see that you bring up your rectangular grid options tools, and you can choose a little more. Like if you want to do, right now we've got five dividers, well let's put up the 15, see what happens. Oh, it's like triple time, triple the squares. So that gives you a little more control. And same thing over here with your polar grid tool. Click on him and I'm going to shift select so I get a perfect circle. And it's a pizza pie. And if I want to have more pieces of the pie, I double click on the polar grid tool, bring it up. And I changed the concentric dividers to 25. Let's show you what happens here. Whoa. Way more busy. A lot more slices. Well, that's that for the line segment tools. Um, if you want to see what I'm up to, go to JanaeMeadows.com. And make sure to check out some of my other tutorials. Until then, mahalo.